Several Henrico teams battle for the ultimate prize, a state championship. Welcome to Sportswire, I'm Will Catter. Going into the state playoffs, three county schools had a combined total of nine different teams in competition, and nobody had a better representation than Deep Run. The Wildcats filled up the brackets in baseball, boys soccer, girls soccer, guys tennis, and of course, girls tennis. For the Lady Wildcats tennis team, they had two goals in mind. Finish the season unbeaten, and of course, win the state title. We start with the state semifinals, always a huge crowd on hand when Deep Run takes on their biggest rivals, Mills Godwin. Winner goes to the state finals at number one. Nobody could stop the girl there in the far court in the blue for Deep Run. Brooke Knatzer had it going, gets the point right there. Later more Brooke taking on Emily Wirt at number one. Great topspin shot by Wirt right here and an excellent volley but watch what happens it was really sunny out there she stared directly in the sun loses a point brooke gets the win six two six one to the number two is audrey butterworth for deep run was bringing it as well at number two she gets the point taking on sahithi begunta begunta can't control or corral that one and butterworth would get the win six one 6-0 as her serve was working as well as you can see right there. She gets the ace. Number three, freshman phenom Olivia Wright has been a big part of this deep run. Wildcat Lady Tennis success there in the front court. She was taking on Sarah York. She gets the point right there. Does Olivia then Olivia on the serve. A 5-0 in the first set. That sticks into the fence. That's how powerful that serve was. She goes on to win as well, 6-0, 6-3, the final. To the number four as we go. In tennis, you just have to win five. So six singles matches and doubles if you have to get to it. Wildcats with a chance to have a four-zip lead with only one point left to go. Great return right here, but it just goes wide and long for Mills. Godwin on the other side. O'Neill was bringing it for the Wildcats as Deep Run goes on to beat Godwin in straight sets. Five zip with the win. They move to 20 and 0 on the season. More importantly, they get a date with TJ of Alexandria to play for the state final. So that would set the stage for this. Brooke Knatzer and Deep Run traveling to Glen Allen Saturday, early morning, taking on TJ Alexandria point. Brooke Knatzer taking on TJ's Keely Wan. TJ of Alexandria, obviously from Northern Virginia. In the finals last year, TJ beat Deep Run. Wildcats looking to return the favor in 2018. Brooke gets a win, 6-0, 6-3. Audrey Butterworth seen here. Taking on Siona Prasad. Gets aces, back-to-back -back aces to get the win in straight sets, 6-0, 6-0 to number three. Olivia Wright in the front court. She was straight up aces as well. TJ could not handle the deep run serve, at least not at one, two, and three. That goes right away. Deep run up three zip as she defeats Nira Nair, 6-0, 6-1. Now, here's the deal. Again, you have to get to five wins to win it, as Olivia Wright is going to take care of business here. Again, she got the win over Nira Nair, but at number four, TJ would get the win. So let's go to number five, where Jessica Wen of Deep Run, front court taking on Kelly Mao. That shot is out by Mao, and that is point. Deep Run, Jessica Wen would get the win. 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. So, number six still in play. We go to doubles. Game, set, match, point. Butterworth and Knatzer do it. Deep Run gets the fifth and final victory they need in doubles. The rest of the girls who are looking on, they come and run out to celebrate as the Deep Run Lady Wildcats avenge last year's loss in states and they get to hoist the hardware. It was awesome experience, especially after last year we lost in the state finals, it was so close. We all really wanted to come back and we were super motivated to win today. So we stayed super focused throughout the whole time. Congratulations to Deep Run Girls Tennis. They are your 2018 state champs. 
Well, when it comes to West End rivalries, one can argue that Godwin vs. Deep Run boys soccer has been one of the best. Two top-notch teams for the past several years. A competitive fervor between the two sides. Both teams fighting for a state title made this a match to watch for sure. Add that to an epic finish and you have all the ingredients for an instant classic. Of course, before we could see that action between Godwin and Deep Run, a little business had to be taken care of first. We start, oh my goodness, in the quarterfinals, Godwin at home taking on Menchville, a chance for Ondua. He misses out on that one. Menchville won't, he shoots, he scores! Goal! And the road team has a 1-0 lead with 20 minutes to go and change in the first half. No panic in these Godwin Eagles, however. Firing, scorching the back, left top corner, he shoots, he scores! Ben Lynch, the man of the hour who scored the game winner in overtime to beat Deep Run and Regionals, equalizes this match at one apiece. More Godwin, check out the tight window! Jen Kim, a fabulous state playoff run. You're gonna hear more from Jen Kim later. More importantly, in this match, that would give Galvin a 2-1 lead. Back comes Menchville, they were not going away. And look at this, gotta love the celebration dance. Unless you're a Godwin fan, it was tied at two. Uh, Mills Godwin kept the pressure on. Fun match this one was between Godwin and Menchville. Chris Ondua! Ooh, almost the undoing! Shoots, he scores off the rebound! So Ondua shot, no. Godwin takes a 3-2 lead and they wouldn't sit back and be happy with that one. No, the pretty, pretty, oh so pretty pass. In the box finding Louis Killius and Godwin moves on. 4-2 to the final, they will meet Deep Run. In one of the most epic games I've ever covered and probably the most amazing matchup between Godwin and Deep Run I'll ever cover. First half highlights, no score, almost. one nothing. Godwin, a chance. Is he offside? We don't hear a whistle. Ondua, he shoots, he scores! One nil, Godwin, they strike first, but wait. Guess the flag was up. It does not count, so. The Wildcats try to take advantage. The throw in, check it out. That foot came out a little too far for the officials liking. They call the foul in the box. It would lead to this. Number five on the PK, Matt Schreiner. Goal, Wildcats. They would have a 1-0 lead in the first half after that boot. Deep run takes advantage. Up 1-0, under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Let's go to the second half. Uh, excuse me, let me uh, get you out of my way there. He sends it in. Oh, number 17's gonna rue the day. He didn't clear that ball, start ruining. Cause number 11 puts the biscuit in the basket. Josh Kirkland, a whale of an afternoon for Kirkland. You'll hear more from him. It's 2-0 deep run with less than 15 minutes to go in the second half. This game is over, right? Wrong, and you don't know Godwin deep run soccer. He shoots, he scores! What a great entry. And Godwin strikes right back and getting right back into it. Number 12, Carter Morris. Just minutes remaining, check out the passes. Five terrific passes leads to Chris Ondua for the equalizer. We're tied at two, friends. Unbelievable. Down 2-0 and then tying it up at two. Let's go to overtime. In overtime, you have two guaranteed overtimes. It's not golden goal, so he shoots, he scores! Deep run, the first one to answer, however, as it's Kirkland, his second of the afternoon. Deep run up 3-2, though usually when a team scores in overtime, it's all but over because you just don't have enough time left. Like this, Jin Kim bended it, but oh, off the woodwork. Only about five, three to five seconds remaining. Kim gets fouled again. Last chance, literally, for Godwin. Kim! Goal! Jin Kim saves the season for the moment for Mills Godwin. Unbelievable! We're tied at three. Now we're in golden goal overtime. First team to score wins. Deep Ron does it. Oh my! Ishmael Tofik 
puts it in the back of the net, and the Wildcats go to celebrate with their fans and their faithful as they win an unbelievable match. Final score, deep run four. Godwin three, Wildcats move on to the state championship game where they will face undefeated Albemarle. And this, if you thought deep run, Goblin was a classic, this one was pretty impressive as well. Early first half, however, oh my goodness, friendly fire, the ball finds the back of the net. Albemarle, Daniel Starr gonna get credit, but it's an own goal by deep run. Not what you wanted to do as Albemarle gets on the board first, especially being undefeated, but watch the hustle, number 11. One boot, he got it to go! The long ball works wonders! It's Josh Kirkland's type of tournament, folks! Oh my goodness, it's a Josh Kirkland world, we're just all living in it when it comes to boys' soccer. It's tied at one, deep run responds, and they're not done either. Still in the first half, by the way. Lots of action early. This gets away from the keeper and coming in the... Polish it off, he puts the biscuit in the basket, he shoots, he scores! Luke Lowry with some seasoning salt on it, and the Wildcats all of a sudden up two to one after giving up that goal. Albemarle, tremendously good, still first half looking for the equalizer, they get it right there, great passing. And number three gonna do a Cam Newton salute here as Wesley Choke puts it in for a 2-2 tie, let's go. Second half, Wildcats looking to put themselves back in front. What a shot, what a goal! Number five, Matt Schreiner. That would give Deep Run a three to two lead. Folks, Albemarle would fight back late in the second half with an equalizer to make it three all. So we go to penalty kicks. Nothing happened in overtime, in penalty. Oh, Kirkland, ball is saved by the keeper for Albemarle. Next up, Albemarle makes it. It's a first one, two, five, or a best out of five. Albemarle made their first three. They deep run has to make this one to keep it going. They do not. It is missed. Wide right. Albemarle celebrates. Deep run, don't hang your heads. You played a magnificent tournament. Had a tremendous season. Only two losses on the year, but Albemarle ends up your state champ. 3-3, three, three, they win three zip in PKs. We head to the diamond when we return. It's been one heck of a ride for deep run baseball. How far could they advance in the class five bracket? Highlights are straight ahead. Don't always have time to watch Sportswire on your TV? No problem. Episodes are available anytime on the web at watchsportswire.com. And it works just as well on your phone. Watch Sportswire anytime, anywhere at watchsportswire.com. Welcome back to the show. 3 nothing Maury, quarterfinals baseball, deep run, in trouble. Bottom one, gonna get right back into it. Number three, Brooks Maisie drives home Mr. Scott Sweeney. It's an RBI double. He says, let's go, let's get it going. Three to one, still not done in the first. Bringing the bats are the Wildcats. The Cardiac Cats coming back again. Eli Wiesner with an RBI single. Deep run cuts in the, Mo the Maury Commodores. Three to two advantage on the hill. This guy was great. How about a tailor-made double play off the pitching arm of Brandon Hill. We go to the second, down three, two. Uh-uh, not for long. Here comes a runner. Crossing home in the form of Tyler Brott. And with some mustard on it, Hayes fallen. An RBI double, he's had a great postseason. Still tied at three, Brandon Hill would take over pitching. Gets a strike out there to get out of the inning. Next inning, Hill. Did he go, did he offer? Umpire says yes, he did. Strike three, swinging. Wildcats in business again. This guy doing the best of his business. He's fallen again in the fourth. It's an RBI double. Wildcats for the first time in states have a lead. It's 4-3 Wildcats. Let's go to the fifth. 
And we saw the pickoff plays in regionals gonna happen again. They did it to Prince George to win the regional title. They do it to Maury in the quarterfinals. Next inning, fifth, Wildcats have them loaded. And guess what? This dog will hunt. Carson Jones, one run scores, two run score, and Jones, a clutch, two RBI hit, and yeah, they're banging the trash cans of Wildcats running around, and they were also walking to bring home a run. They didn't want to pitch to uh, uh, Hayes falling. It drives home another run. A crooked number on the board, seven to three. Still not finished. Maury would come back and make it seven to six, but that was an insurance run to make it eight six. So we go to the seventh. Last chance for the Commodores. Two runners on, lead run at the plate. And that looks like it's gonna get through the hole. It does not. The defense, Tyler Brott makes the play. Wildcat season continues. They win in comeback style, beating Maury. 8-6 is your final. So that would lead to this semifinal action, a rematch against Prince George. Wildcats find themselves down again. They gave up two in the first, but deep run, gonna come back again. Are you kidding me? RBI double, Sweeney scores. It's like a broken record. Deep run, always fighting back. And this time, Brooks Maisie delivers. It's two to one. This looked like a boot and a big time error, but Wildcats being aggressive, threw it out trying to score as Maisie. Prince George dodges a bullet, still up two to one. Meanwhile, Royals gonna add to it. That is a base hit. Number 12 comes around to score and Craig Lyons. The Royals trying to avenge that regional championship loss to Deep Run. They had it going on the mound as well. Strikeout, Lineberger goes down. And then number 11, he really did have it going. Jordan Yates gets fallen to fall. But Wildcats would have their chances in the fourth and fifth inning. First and second, one out. They get the inning ending double play. Still a three to one ball game. Fifth inning, Wildcats another chance. Bases this time loaded with only one out. Number 16 comes in to pitch Isaiah Hunter. Guess what? Prince George, when it mattered most, made huge defensive plays. Another inning ending double play in consecutive innings. Wildcats would not score in either inning. That would be paramount. Prince George taking advantage and scoring runs. They need some insurance and they know it against this hot deep run team. They get it to go. It's five to one at this point. The Wildcats gonna quit. Heck no! They didn't come here to quit! It's a base hit, RBI single. Deep run getting back into it as number four comes across the score and Carson Jones later in the inning. This would be the sixth, an RBI single. Make that all the way to third. Goes Hayes falling. They would cut it to five to three, but they would get no closer. The strikeout to end the inning, Prince George would add two more. Deep runs, amazing season comes to an end. Seven to three of the five. Well, let's go to the rivalry that never seems to end. Godwin and Deep Run, boys tennis anyone? These two are fantastic. It is the state semifinals in the far court. Rishi, Shankar of Godwin slice it and dice it, Rishi. Gets the point against Sheshwood Pandey of Deep Run. These two were absolutely phenomenal. If I had a longer sports wire, I would show this entire match. I'm not kidding, it was that good. Shankar for Godwin, money. Even though Pandey would make an excellent comeback. Pandey would win the opening set seven to six. Shankar would come back to take the next two. Six, three, six, four. So, Rishi Shankar, Gets the win for Godwin, 6'7", 6'3", 6'4", even though that's right in your living room for the point. You want some more action from this? I got it. Here's an ace, Shankar. Not quite an ace, but down the line there. And it takes care of business to get the three set win. To the number twos. Nothing can duplicate the battle at once, but these two have been great for their respective teams. In the front court, Limoges from Deep Run, both 
players using the slice, taking on Curtis of Mills Godwin. Curtis would have the upper hand in this match, particularly in the first, well, not in the first set, but in the second and third. Limoges would win the first set 6-0. That's right, shut him out. Curtis came back, though, to win the next two, 7-5, 6-2. So a win for Godwin at number twos. Number threes, deep run in the front court. It is Shepard taking on Campbell in the far court for Mills Godwin. That shot just goes long point Campbell. Later on the serve, it's Shepard again. And Campbell right down the line for the winner. 6-3, six, 6-3, three, six, three. winner, winner, chicken dinner as Shepard going to take care of business with a great shot upcoming. Right here down the line, that's good for the win for deep run, but Goblin comes out on top. To the number fours, we've got Brant for Mills Goblin in the front court taking on Angel for deep run in the far court. Uh, good matchup here as well. That overhand topspin shot is absolutely money. Goblin wins, 5-1. And how about this for tennis? The Goblin guys advancing to the state finals, taking on TJ Alexandria. Remember the deep run girls got there as well. So well represented for Henrico County. Problem here is TJ Alexandria, they're mostly all underclassmen and they're all ridiculously good. Even good enough to take on Rishi Shankar and give him a battle, not only that, have a chance to win. Zhao for TJ right there in the front court, both wearing white shirts, Alexandria and Gawain. The difference is the red hats for Alexandria, and they get the point and the win. He defeats Shankar, 6-4, 6-4, well fought opening match. The number twos, that is a massive forehand shot by Wen of TJ battling against Curtis. Curtis in the far court. Going to hit one down the line, and Wen cannot take care of that one, so point goes to Curtis. But in the end, it is Wen who gets the win. We go to number three, Campbell of TJ. We'll make that Roy of TJ in the front court. Now they're switching sides. Roy in the far court now. He gets the winner, winner, chicken dinner on that shot as well. It was all TJ in this. They win at number one. They win at number two. They win at number three. Godwin did not get shut out. They did get a win in this one at number five. But TJ gets the win, 5-1. Well, it's back to the pitch when we come back. Freeman and Deep Run look to make their mark in ladies' soccer. That's next. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome, oh, I think we're breathtaking, and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. I got this. <coughs> Is that Bran? Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. Welcome back to Sports Wire. Deep Run taking on Hickory State. Quarterfinals, girls soccer. She shoots, she scores. Deep Run scored three goals in the first five minutes. If you're a little bit late, ugh, missed them. Hickory gets on the board, but they're still down three to one. Still, we've seen some crazy uh, soccer highlights from states, haven't we? Hickory later with another chance, second half action now. Nice uh, stop off the corner, set piece, deep run, corrals that one. And then the Wildcats, well, they didn't quit getting their opportunities to score. Still up 3-1. That one right on net, saved by Hickory. But 
the Wildcats. Check out the unselfish pass. She shoots, she scores! Goal! Deep run. They get that one to go, and they get the win as number nine puts it in. Alex Horner, four to one, is your final Wildcats move on. To play, guess who? Douglas Freeman, who they beat all year long. Lady Wildcats unbeaten, and Freeman lost to them, but it was only one nil, a chance early. They only lost one nil in the regional final. Chance early for deep run, you saw that one just go high. Wildcats, controlled tempo almost throughout. That shot, oh my goodness! Sometimes you just gotta let one fire, and it works! Wildcats on the board. Fortune smiles on deep run, and they have a one nil lead in the first half. Second half, same score, deep run, looking for more. The pass, in the middle, she's got an open look. Oh my goodness, the keeper makes a gigantic save for Douglas Freeman. Enough to save the season. Then, Lauren Bruns on the penalty. Puts it in like only Lauren Bruns can do, it seems. Tying it up at one. We got a brand new ball game, folks. Still tied at one. Second half. Under eight to play now. Lauren Bruns! Are you kidding me? She does it again. Bruns puts Freeman up 2-1. And for all the scoring ability that Bruns has shown all year for Douglas Freeman, Maybe we should start looking at her defensively because check it out. Deep run, a chance to get the equalizer. Keepers out of the way. Bronze gets the deflection. Wildcats still have a chance though. Oh, and the shot goes awry, but Bronze made the save as the keeper. And Freeman pulls off an improbable upset, ending Deep Run's unbelievable season and winning this one, beating Deep Run for the first time all year when it matters most in the state semis. Two to one is your final. So it's the Lady Rebels who represent the Henrico County area in the state finals, taking on Briar Woods and Briar Woods early and often all over Douglas Freeman. She shoots, she scores. Abby Maltese, the forward senior, Leading the way for a Briar Woods, who has a 1-0 advantage. Still first half action. Briar Woods looking for more. And that shot just goes wide. Number seven, Caitlin Bryant with a chance. Freeman, not many in chances, but that one was so close. Oh, so close. The header hits the woodwork and out as Sam Fee almost got the equalizer. Briar Wood's gonna make sure to make Freeman pay for it on the breakaway. She shoots, she scores, and again, it's number nine, Abby Maltese. And uh, using the forward kind of like Freeman does with Lauren Bruns, uh, Briar Woods was able to do that themselves. Rebels not going away, still creating opportunities. That one goes wide. Second half action now, still a 2-0 lead. Another chance to make it three. Nice job by the keeper making herself big there to try to take away the angle, but not enough offense. Briarwood's two goals. Would stand up in this one. No crazy comeback or finish. The season ends for Freeman. Briarwoods wins a state title. 2-0, you're fine. Remember, if you have questions or comments about the show, just send me an email to this address, sportswire at Henrico. .k12.va.us. And you can always follow us on Twitter. I can't wait to see ya next time on SportsWire.